if I were to try and reconcile, say, the work of uh, the consulting and the, the work of, of uh, uh, doing research, um, you know, the area where it makes I think, sense to focus on, where the, where the two overlap, is, is case studies. So mm -hmm. you want to look at examples of companies that have been in conflict areas and that have, um, let's say, learned some hard lessons um, and to use those to uh, inform your, uh, your client. So that's the way that I'm. That's the right. way that I work. Do you feel that the academics that you've met, uh, both during this conference but also in your in your career, are? Um, what do you think are they? What are they doing that's right that you need to see more? What you would like to see more of, in terms of being able to, for academics to be part of a. A movement for, towards a sustainable enterprise economy. Mm. One nice thing about academics—I mean, they're, I suppose, academics and academics—but uh, from a let's say, sort of stereotype corporate perspective, you, they're naive in that they, they don't know uh, the business from the inside. Um, they tend to approach it more from the outside, looking at it from the mm -hmm. academic sort of platform. So the advantage in that is that um, academics can ask questions that consultants wouldn't typically ask. So you could, uh, let's say, uh, push the, uh, the companies to uh, explore more, to think more deeply about the repercussions of their actions, not only in how whatever they do impacts on their finances, but whether, you know, if, uh, let's say, life is uh, short, and in that uh, short period, uh, your, your years of uh, being able to get out there and work being even shorter, and in that period, what sort of impact are you having on the world? How do you feel about yourself at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. These are discussions that you wouldn't typically have as a consultant, but that you could as an academic.